Hello Fern followers, another video to try and help people out with uh, common problems that they have with the dog and this one is going to be all about recall so quite a few people have different kind of problems with recall in the dog so recall just means when you tell the dog to come back then the dog should come back and quite often that doesn't happen for people so a common scenario is you go out for a walk with your dog, you let your dog off the lead the second you let the dog off the dog's gone into the wind sniffing around trees chasing after dogs and flowers and scents and different things like that and then you'll call him back and he'll look up at you and think, nah, this is more important or more exciting. I'd rather sniff this. Uh, so there are a few different possible reasons for that. So a few of them might be, first of all, that you're just not exciting enough and you're not commanding enough respect from your dog. Uh, and I've got a playlist on YouTube about how to improve recall skills. So if you go back and watch that, uh, the very first thing that we work on is having the dogs excited to be around you and to follow you. And yes, I've started with puppies, but if you get a, a, you know, a four-year-old rescue dog or whatever it may be, the principles are still the same. You've got to get the dog interested to be around you. You've got to get the dog to see you as the leader, as the boss, as the provider. So you can do things like training, uh, feeding from your hand, going through doorways before the dog, and, and little things of asserting yourself as the leader. Um, so the dog's got to first of all want to be around you and be happy and confident coming back to you and, and being around you and secondly <coughs> there's got to be a sort of a reward to come towards you so if you call the dog towards you it's going to think well, what's in it for me if I go back to him what you know what's better than sniffing this grass here over there what can he offer me that this can't so that's when possibly treat training or toy training comes in so that if they call the dog to you, he gets a reward, either a little bit of food, or a stroke, or a cuddle, or a tickle, or a toy, or something like that. There's got to be something, an incentive in the dog, in it, sorry, for the dog to come back to you. Another thing is to look at it from the dog's point of view. If every time you call the dog back to you, you put the lead on the dog, and then you take him home, and playtime's over, there's no reason the dog's going to come to you because he's going to think, no chance. If I go back to you, you're going to put the lead on me and take me home. So what you can do, loads of times throughout the day, including in the house and starting off within the house, is uh, call the dog to you, make a big fuss of him, give him a reward or a toy or play or something like that, an incentive to come back to you, and then let him go again. Or when you're out on a walk, call him back to you, put the lead on, take the lead off, and let him go again. So when he sees you, when you're calling him and you're getting the lead ready, there's no anxiety there that the, the entertainment's going to be finished because even if you do put the lead on, you're going to take the lead straight off and he's going to go off and have a little bit more fun. So don't only build the association in the dog's mind that when you call him towards you, that signals the fun has ended. Um, the main way to stop a dog not coming back when you call it is by not letting him off the lead. If your dog doesn't come back to you when you call him, don't let him off in the first place. There's got to be a bit of control on your part because remember everything that a dog does is building a habit, it's habit forming for the dog. So every time you say Rover come <coughs> and he chooses not to, and if we go back to the four Ps, you're permitting that to happen. That's going to become a pattern which is going to become permanent and the dog's just going to build in his mind, the idea that every time mum or dad call me, I look at him, I ignore him, and I carry on. And there's no consequence to that. So that's what come here means from now on. It just means ignore me. Um, further on from putting him on the lead, not letting him off the lead, you can have him on a long lead. So like a five metre line or a ten metre line. Exactly the same as a lead, it's just longer. And <coughs> he can be out at ten metres away. And what you can do is call him towards you. And as you call him, reel him in like a fish give him loads of praise maybe a little bit of food or a toy and then let him go again and then keep doing that throughout the walk <coughs> and he'll soon learn that there's no danger in me going back the walk won't finish the, the fun won't end and it's quite a good thing every time i go back to my mum or my dad um so that's it for that one building a bit of recall build a bit of trust with your dog give him an incentive to come towards you and um, there's got to be something in it for the dog 
that's better than what he's doing at the minute. Don't set yourself up for failure. Don't have him off the lead if you can't come back to the lead. And um, maybe use a long, lean, long line, a long lead. What you've also got to think of is, if your dog comes off, go back to my videos on body language, although you might be calling him to you, your body language might be saying, do not come near me because I'm really annoyed and I'm going to batter you, eat you, hit you, bite you, whatever dogs interpret that as. Your body language has got to replicate what you want. So you might be fuming inside, but you've got to look really inviting to the dog. Never get in the habit of chasing a dog around the field, shouting, come here, because you're teaching a dog then, based on the four Ps, that come here means run away from me and I will chase you and we'll have a great game. And um, it, the fun will just continue. Every time I say come here, you run off and we'll just have loads of fun. In that instance, do the complete opposite. Sit down and look the opposite way. And be really dull and boring and the dog will get um, sort of a bit nosy and a bit concerned as to what you're doing and he'll come towards you.